Hello, hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Today is Wednesday, October 27th. Can you hear me? How are you, Jose Antonio? I am sick, sir. I have COVID. You got COVID? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry. How do you feel? Mm. Headache? I'm I, a little, little sick. I hate it. Man. ¿Cuándo se dio cuenta que estaba mal, que estaba con COVID? ¿Hoy? Hoy en la, hoy en la mañana, porque desde el domingo estoy, estoy enfermo. El lunes me fui a hacer una prueba rápida y me salió negativa, pero me fui a hacer otra prueba hoy a las 10 y uh -huh. esa sí me salió positiva. Híjole. Bueno. Primero Dios que no pueda superar. Sí. O sea que ya lleva días así sintiéndose mal. Sí, ya varios días. Bueno, primero Dios que no sea grave, no se ponga mal. Y gracias, gracias por conectarse. Sé que no es fácil. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, how many are we? We are nine already. Where are the others? Okay, just to let me do the attendance, although you are just 10 already, so we can just move on. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Great, Erwin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present, teacher. Great, Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Vení con Salvador. Welcome, Ada. I got you. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hi, thank you. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernández. Mm -hmm. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Thank you. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Good. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. There she is. Irene Azucena Cuellar. Albanés. Present teacher. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. 
René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. No, okay. Okay, so let's get this started uh, so we can practice. Remember that the main goal on this. Hey, welcome, Yuri. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, remember, the main goal um, of this class is for you to speak, okay? For you to, to talk in the class. That's very important. So let's uh, start with an open question. Who has an open question? Who has an open question? Anybody? An open question. A WH question, come on. That's your homework. So let me see. Fernando, give me a number between one and 17. Uh, 12. 12, okay. Five, 10, 12. Hello, Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay. What's your open question? My open question. Um, how long do you how long do you study English? How long do you study English? That sounds like simple present, right? How long do you study English? Okay. How long do you study English? A volunteer to answer this question? Let me add one more to compliment. To compliment that question. What do you do or what is working for you? What do you do or what is working for you? So how long do you study and what do you do and or what is working for you? For example, I could say I study English for about seven, 10 hours every day, you know, before the class, before the class, I study English for about 10 hours. Why? Because I'm taking calls in English, I'm chatting in English, I'm sending emails, filling out forms, for over 10 hours, I will say, every day, other than teaching. Um, and then I prepare the class and that's like another hour, you know, uh, prepare myself to teach you um, the topic of the day. So that's me and that's what I do to practice. Something else that I do and is working for me is listening, listening to conferences on, on YouTube. I don't listen to much music. You know, I prefer to to watch videos, motivational videos, like Tony Robbins and things like that. Something that motivates me. Okay, that's me. Someone else? How long do you study English every day? Well, in my case, actually, I I like to start English uh, through video musical. No, because I like to, to to sing a lot, and I like to listen to um, news, and the most of the time I like to 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 do my things, listen to music, or listen podcasts. Podcasts because um, I'm not sure you are going in uh, different or skills. You are going to get more or you are going to boost your skills actually. And, but I would like to spend more time speaking because I believe this is my, one of my weaknesses in English. 
but yeah this is my my schedule that's <laughs> your schedule yeah. schedule 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 yeah. joel okay schedule joel yo y-o-l y-o-l schedule there you go okay you see that's the way you do it i think alexander is ready to get a job in english you're getting yeah. closer you're getting very close let me know if i i want i i would like to refer you there's a class <laughs> there's a class starting on november what did they say november 3rd i think yeah there's a class starting next week and we need a lot of people right now it's mm -hmm. crazy let me tell you they are they are paying eight dollars additional per hour so one hour of overtime is like six sixty six six dollars and sixty six cents is an overtime hour plus eight dollars so they're paying like fourteen sixty six per hour right now yeah. sounds good <laughs> that's a lot of money i don't have time to do overtime anyways it is what it is Okay, guys, let's do this. I'm going to split you. Welcome to the class for the ones that are joining us. Please accept the invitation. How long do you study English and what do you do or what is working for you? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, okay. 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 Who is going to ask? To start. How long you, you, do you, you study English? Me? Yeah. Because your voice well. is really nice. <laughs> Teacher said yes. <laughs> uh, let me see. How long do you, I study English? Well, actually, I uh, I don't have a specific time to study English every every single day because I don't have uh, uh, well. I try to study listening some YouTubers English, uh, but it's complicated because when you are you are accustomed to listen a YouTuber, you are going to understand it because they use the same words, the same meaning, the same, the same, the same issue, the same, the same technical information that you are going to acquire listening. But if you listen older one, you are going to find uh, several words that you don't know or they use commonly. Uh, but that helped me to improve my capability to understand it. Um, but uh, maybe I try to listen one, or two, or three YouTubers, one from England, other one from two from the United States. But those, one of those, are is really complicated. Or I don't know why, but I try to understand it. But and sometimes I repeat the video just listening because sometimes I feel that I I listen in a conversation and a dialogue and for me it's more complicated to understand a youtuber when they are doing a, a live video I don't know why and what do you do what uh, what are um, I well it's the same that I did you do and I try to speak with my daughters in English because they have they have very good pronunciation they have good vocabulary and sometimes I think they they know that uh, I don't understand what they say <laughs> okay well in my case <clears throat> I'm trying to, I don't have a, a specific time to, but I, I listen podcasts 
and watch movies in English and news like CNN and that's it that the things that I do to improve my listening and to memorize new words I I have a list of new words and that's uh, it's, it's very helpful because I think I feel that I can memorize better in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Jose Antonio? Video. Yeah, it's very funny, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, William, I think the situation is saying uh, all the classmates the 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 big problem is uh the hard time for different situations for Joe for family but it's necessary to share the, the time for the study necessary in different uh, areas. I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. I like uh, studying English, uh, for example, watching videos on YouTube or listen to music in English and practice with my, my sister. Yeah. yeah. I, my, I, my yeah. Kid, when, I, when I am driving, I'm going to use an application for study English. And when I when I stay in my work, I practice with my my boss and a co-workers. I have my boss and I have a co-worker that I speak English very well, and I can practice with with them. With them. My 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 car there are a, a option. Um, oh, I don't know its application. I don't know, but uh, there are. Uh, you can see the radio. In English, I, I, I don't know what like what happened. Podcast. Yeah, it's a podcast. No, no, it's a podcast. I don't know what it is, but, but uh, the radio um, speaking English. Uh, when I uh, when I, I drive, I I listen to to this radio. It, it's okay. it's very clear the word pronunciation and this and radio. This radio. Radio. Well, radio. radio. Radio, yeah. yeah. The pronunciation is, is very clear and understand different words and I have and I have problem for the pronunciation. But it is not a local local radio. No. Uh -huh. no, from? Uh -huh. Here is radio gaga. Radio. Yeah, no, the queen. I like, I like radio. 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 But I, I like this. I I think I have me uh, a a good pronunciation, different word. Always I have uh, opportunity and this language. <laughs> but I try to speak a little, no a little, <laughs> with my partner and in, in my job. Well, I think that the most important is practice because if you don't practice, you don't learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 main uh, problem is uh, the nervous. I think because yeah, when because I have to have talk to... in class, I have many nervous, and I I, I lose the idea. I got I get very nervous. I get very nervous. Yes, I I think that is my my main uh, problem with the English. With English. With English, yeah to get fluency when you are speaking and when you uh they actually working on your confidence right and your body language and your attitude your mindset that is the key i believe because um i i've learned these kind of things and it's so useful even, even though if you are no getting what you want in your life at the moment but this this you to you to <laughs> to reach your <laughs> your your goals yeah for that reason even when i stop 
started English uh, a year ago. I always try to, I, I have been trying to, to listen podcasts and sing some kind of music, music, right? You know, because this, when you are, are singing, your articulation, your mouth and your fluency can be improved, right? Could improve, you know? Yeah, this is my, my theory. <laughs> I, yeah, that's fair enough for me. What about Heidi? In my case, I started to study English uh, when I was studying fourth grade. I remember that my dad, I used to be, I used to study painting in national art school. And then when I was going to be on fifth grade, I was going to study in the morning. So my dad told me, hey, it's time for you to study a, a new language and think about which language would you like to study? And for me, there was no doubt I wanted to study French because I've always dreamed on going to France someday. And I told my dad, hey, I want to study French. And he said, and why? You better study English. Don't you see? Uh, you can visit any country and you will always find someone who speaks English. You better study English. So I started studying English against my, how do you say voluntad? Against, against my will. Against my will. Against my, yep, mm -hmm. against my will. I attended Centro Cultural Salvadoreño about three years. And then my daddy passed away and I had to, to go to the U.S. with my mom, who I never had lived with. And um, I attended the Hampra High School for one year. And all of the classes that my dad made me take, they meant everything to me because um, I could handle, I could handle to study over there. So, and I went to France, I want to tell you, I went to France last year and it's true. I, I didn't speak French. I spoke in English. There was people who spoke English. So kind of funny story, but <laughs> I really thank my dad who, who made me uh, rethink about studying English and, and it really helped me a lot at work. It also helped me when someone gets to the bank and, and doesn't speak Spanish, they speak Chinese or any language, but they always speak English, you know? So it's true, English is universal. So, Even though uh, the population, the Spanish population is bigger, <laughs> that's irony. Mm -hmm. Why will that be? It's because the United States is the number one country in the world, I guess. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, and e everything is in English. I mean, manuals. And everybody adopted, everybody adopted that language. Chinese manuals are in English and some of them in Brazilian and in Portuguese. Portuguese, right? Did I say Brazilian? Oops. Yeah, Portuguese. <laughs> They're in Portuguese or German. Mm -hmm. it depends on the area. Okay, great job. But Teddy, what's your area of improvement? What, what do you feel is your flaw? maybe speaking because uh, you know uh, at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño they teach you a lot of grammar a lot of grammar uh, when I came back from the U.S. because I only studied one year over there um, when I left I was on level 13 and when I came back I, I took the last one advanced grammar skills so so I guess uh, on grammar maybe I'm okay but I need maybe fluency at the time to speak they're doing it perfect. I don't find any flaw in your speaking. So <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to see who, who wants to come to the front. Maybe Caroline so that she can wake up. Wake up. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go.
Okay, this is a friendly reminder. Please turn on your camera. I have eight students with the camera off. Come on, guys. We're in a class. Don't be shy. Okay, someone who hasn't come to the front. I need someone who hasn't come to the front during all this time that we're doing this. Um, who needs help? Who needs help to improve his language, his English skills? Who needs help to improve its language skills? Come on. Nobody? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, fair. Again, are you sure? Let's do something first. Select someone. Andres is raising his hand. Yes, yeah, Andres. You, yeah, you spoke yesterday. Uh, yeah. Juan Francisco. Yeah, Juan Francisco and then after Andres. Okay. Andres, I think Andres raises his hand. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Andres. One, give me one minute. I'm sorry. I wasn't ready. Then we're going to have Caroline so she can wake up. Come on, teacher, no. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, Andrew. So, what's the question? Okay, there's uh, the sound. So, you have one minute. What, okay. How long do you study English every day? How long do you study English? And what do you do or what is working for you? One, two, three, action. Okay, in my case, uh, I'm trying to listen podcasts on Spotify or, or YouTube in English, watching movies all in English, but with subtitles to understand because it's very difficult to understand English in that level. And another thing that I do is uh, I was using Duolingo and there are Duolingo podcasts too. And I watch uh, news in English like CNN and the other thing that I do is uh, a list of new words because I feel that in that way I can memorize better. It's very helpful. Awesome. Wow. Okay, very good. You didn't stop, Andres. Great job. Hey, repeat. Subtitles. 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 English okay. subtitles. Spanish subtitles. Okay. And the final sound. Podcasts. Podcast. Wait for podcasts. 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 Is the plural, right? So podcasts. 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 I listen to podcasts. Podcasts. Okay. It's not easy. Podcasts. Great job. Podcasts. Great okay. job. Okay, so we have Juan Francisco, I think. Juan Francisco is raising his hand. Okay, okay. ready? Please get closer. Get closer to the to the microphone. <laughs> Okay. okay. How long do you study English and what do you do and or what is working for you, Juan Francisco? One, two, three, action. Okay. Uh, maybe I watch series in English in Netflix. Um, I, I watch the video in YouTube. Um, I follow uh, Maria Arroba movie and I, I don't remember. Uh, for example, in my car, I uh, have a satellite radio. I had, I listened the doctor radio in, in this station and they spoke in English. I tried to understand, but uh, it's very difficult because they uh, they are uh, 
America, uh, but I try um, in my work, only my boss uh, speak English, uh, but I don't practice um, with her because I change, I change, I change, I get, uh, but my English is, is so bad. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. In my car have, or okay, what is the subject? In my car, I have sa satellite, satellite, yeah, sa satellite. Wait, sa sa what was it? Satellite, satellite, satellite. Oh my God, wait, satellite, yeah. Google, can you help me? Satellite, radio? Satellite, satellite, satellite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Satellital, no, satellite. Ah, satellital. Uh -huh. Satellite, satellite radio. It's sa satellite with two L. Ah, oh, God. I'm only human. Flesh and bone and made. I have satellite radio and I listen to a podcast or a, yeah, a program, a show. They spoke in English. They speak. Okay. They speak in English. Repeat. Understand. Understand. There you go. Understand. You don't say understand. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, if you. if you say they are Americans, okay. You said they are American. They are American. They're Americans. They're Americans. They're... Son Americanos. Okay, they're Americans. Very good. In my work, only my boss speaks English. What do you say, guys? What do you think? This, how does that sound? In my job, only my boss speaks English. Is this proper grammar? In my job, uh huh. My boss. Oh, in my job. Okay, my job sounds better. Only my boss speaks English. Just, just my boss speaks English. My boss. Sounds yeah, better, right? Sounds, it, okay. The gra he did a great job because that's good grammar. I mean, you can say in my work, only my boss speaks English, but you can sound better. In my job, just my boss speaks only in my job. My, wait, in my job, just my boss English speaks English. Speaker. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. only my boss is an English speaker. Just my boss. Speaks, I will have said just my boss speaks English in my job or he's the only English speaker. He's the only he's the only English speaker in my job. My English is some bad, well pronounced, but hey. The more you repeat to yourself that your English is bad, the worse it will be. So stop repeating, Jorge Francisco, that you have bad English. De hecho, no, no. Yo esperaba, <laughs> honestamente, y le voy a decir la verdad, yo esperaba que no hablara tanto. No pensé que fuese a hablar tanto. Wow. So that's very good. Acaba de incrementar mis expectativas hacia su persona, señor. Super good. Okay. I was really good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I, I believe you're practicing and that's really good. Okay, guys. So today we have to continue with where we left yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about um, get, right? And what else? Causative make. verbs. Causative make. verbs get and make make and get make and get okay so did we perform this exercise no right no we didn't we didn't okay think about it i'm gonna give you one minute to think about the possible answers to each of these exercises okay look at that Hmm. Shut the desktop. Hide, 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 hide. 
Load the task bar. There you go. By the way, this is page 29 on your workbook. Page 29 on your workbook, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, time's up. Let's go with the first set. Okay, so marketing helps businesses. Let's see, Juan Francisco, help me. Marketing helps businesses. Get, get, get. Okay. Get customers. Buy Again, customers. Did you lose the connection? It's frozen. Okay. Uh huh. Luis Ernesto, what do you think? Get customers. To buy. To buy. Remember, when you use to, when you use get, you need to use to. To buy products so marketing helps businesses get customers to buy the products okay what about number three elvin we can we can we can make People. Uh, people to people to like no people mm. people like no like 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 okay when you use make you don't need two you just need the verb base I'm sorry the vase verb the bare verb. I wanted to say, you just need the bare verb instead of the infinitive. So we can make people like our products without the right strategy. Okay, next, Haiti, online stores. Let me see, Ivan. Number four. Online store uh, help their loyal customer get with advertising events. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Caroline? Online stores get their loyal customers to help with advertising events. 
with amortizing events. Very good. Events, events. It's the way events. it is written. Yeah, events. events. Sandra Elizabeth, number five. So without, mm. without two. Yeah, without two when you use, mm. oh, I'm sorry. What, teacher, oh my God. Goodness. Thank you, oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Only Wait, stores, <laughs> they're loyal customers. <laughs> help with advertising events mm, okay sorry okay sandy sandra number five uh, the marketing marketing director uh, make make people mm, do mm. Mm, for the best part uh, uh, for a uh, to 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 oh vote vote only. right only vote, vote. only <laughs> for the best ads okay yes guys I'm sorry when you use make it's just the base verb when you use get you need the infinitive get to help makes vote and remember third person the marketing director he or she makes people vote for the best ads. Okay, Suleyma, number six. Okay, top businesses make their employees take constant training on marketing. Top businesses make their employees take constant trainings on marketing. Okay, now let's use this to have a small conversation right now. What do you think about the first sentence? Let, sentence let's see. Um, customers' attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. Customers' attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. How come? Como así? How come? I told you that before. How come? Como así? Customers' attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. It's like, what do you think? Come on. Can you paraphrase that sentence? What are we trying to say with that sentence? Come on, guys. Exactly. It's like companies will do everything, you know, possible to get customers' attention, right? To get customers' attention. Okay. Number two, marketing helps businesses get customers to buy products. True or false? True. 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 That's the whole purpose of marketing, right? To promote your brand, your products, what you're selling, your services. Okay. Next, number three. We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. The right strategy. What do you think, Wendy? <laughs> Teacher, uh, sorry, uh, can can repeat? Okay, we're talking about number three. We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. Okay. I think that is true because uh, when the companies, uh, I don't know, how do you say, invest. invest, invest, invest in the mark in the market marketing campaign, campaign, uh, have a good result because the people uh, see in the in the brand 
in the product. Uh, for example, is um, Coca Cola uh, in, invest in the in the marketing, and the people uh, buy the product. And people buys their products. And people buy the product. Buy, buy I'm sorry. People buy their products. True, true. Okay, true. Let me give you a clear example. I just thought about something. I'm not going to say the name, okay? But there is an English course, a very popular English course, whose marketing, whose marketing campaign at least for El Salvador, I guess, or I don't know, in social networks as well. But their marketing campaign is focused or oriented only to one of the four Ps, price. They focus on price, 60% off, 70% off, two for one. It's always a promotion about the price. You, you know who I'm talking about, but don't say the name, don't say the name. So. Is that a right, the right strategy? Yes, I think yes, because the, the people... Uh, 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 the, the, uh, uh, people? May, sorry? Because people... Because people uh, have a idea... Idea? Uh -huh. Idea that that um, learn the English, but sometimes don't have a money. Tenemos un problema con los artículos, Wendy. Artículos, no artículos, no artículos, no más artículos. Vamos a quitar los artículos de nuestro léxico solo por esta noche. Prefiero que te equivoques, donde, que no agregues un artículo donde sí iba, <ríe> a lo contrario, ¿ok? So, no the, no a. One more time. So people have the idea uh, of learning English, but they don't have money. They don't have money. Okay. Yeah. I got I got your point. So Wendy, what do you think, guys? Wendy thinks that when you want to learn English, you look for a not expensive course. I mean, the first thing that you think about is the price. And that's why the, the, their marketing campaign is, is oriented to the P of price. What do you think? Maybe teacher, nowadays there are many competitors uh, because there are, uh, with the pandemic, with COVID-19, I see so many advertising related to online academies that are teaching English. And so I guess maybe the company is now that is bad because they are telling a marketing promotion two for one or 50% less. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just because they need students. They need students. But don't you think that's negative? If yeah. You're, yeah if, you, if you're thinking, oh, we need more students. Um, yeah. This about your prestige. It tells about Alexander. It tells about your prestige. Yeah, it tells about your prestige okay. because, okay. yeah, because um, they the okay people think that if your academy is not good, you have <clears throat> um, <clears throat> sorry, you have, you have few students. <laughs> yeah, you have few students. Sorry. <laughs> It was <laughs> yeah. In this context, uh, people in this case is looking for uh, cheap prices or cheap prices or cheap cheaper prices. Yeah, but at the same time, you are looking for quality of the content. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I agree with you. Okay. So I think we got the idea, right? Okay, so money is not everything, guys. Wendy is right. Wendy is right. You have to connect. Remember the previous class, a strong marketing campaign. Um, branding, branding, right? Strong branding refers to also um, getting people 
to know the why. Why are you, why do, why do you exist? What is your purpose, right? And they have to feel identified with your brand. Imagine this, no, I'm not gonna say it because that's my marketing campaign and I cannot talk about my project on these classes. So <laughs> I will be burning myself, okay? so. But yeah, you have to connect the audience to your brand, to your product. Come again, William? Send the link. No, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It will be soon. And it will be free, William. So that tells a lot. Okay, let's see. Uh, online stores, William. Online stores get their loyal customers to help with advertising events. True or false? Oh. What is advertising? Oh. The whole <laughs> model talks about advertising. Ah, come on. Commercials, yeah. commercials, ads, yeah. what publicidad, right, Sandra? <laughs> I didn't read in, in the bad way. Okay, online store. Oh, yeah. For example. <laughs> what happens, William? What happens, William, when you love a product online? When you love something and you typically buy online, you know, on that website, Amazon, for example, you trust, do you trust Amazon? Yeah. Do you trust Amazon? Yeah, right. Do you trust eBay? Not sort much. Of, right, not much. So if you noticed, for example, Amazon is, um, is selling, it's on sale, Listen, Amazon is on sale. Being on sale means they, there are offers on their website. What do you do? And it's Christmas. Christmas is coming. What do you do? Do you just keep it for yourself? Mm. William, come on. Do you keep the promotions for yourself on Amazon? Ah, uh, no, I share. You share it with your uncle, right? With your aunt, with your mom. And you go, mom, mom, my present for Christmas, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? For everybody. For everybody. So that's the point. They don't even tell you, hey, William, can you share the link with no. your family members? You just feel like doing it. I mean, I have to share this, man. This is good. A TV, a 55 inches TV for $300. Oh, my God. That's a bargain. That's a bargain. Okay. Thank you, William. The marketing director makes people vote for the best ads. I don't, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Marketing director makes people vote for the best ads. Mm, that's a marketing strategy, don't you think? For example, the ad that um, Suleyma sent to the group. Did you watch the video? Suleyma sent to the group? Yes, I did. What was the store? Uh, Best, Best uh, Buy. What's the uh, Ah. Best Buy, right? Walmart. 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 Mm -hmm. I yeah. was thinking about Walmart, but I couldn't believe it. Walmart made that commercial? Really? Yeah. Wow. It must have been, it must have been really expensive. Wow. So do you think people voted for that ad? Yeah, of course. People yes. like us. Mm -hmm. Remember the childhood, that's it. The whole childhood in one commercial, I guess. Yes, that was so emotive, right? Heidi, mm -hmm. have you ever considered doing this with your company, with the bank? When you come up with a new commercial, a new ad, 
bring all of the employees and hey guys, we're gonna watch a commercial, some commercials, and we want you to vote for the one, the most touching one, the, your your favorite. Okay. It's yeah, that that'd be nice. That'd be nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember your competitors. I'm not gonna say the name. They mm -hmm. they they were so oriented to Salvadorian culture many years ago before they became Colombian before they became Colombians they were so close to to the nationality you know it, it used there, there used to be a, a sense of ownership you know like as a Salvadorian you used to go like man that's my bank even the colors right and then Cuscatlan the same thing you know the symbol the um what was it Maya symbol or something the pyramid? The building? The pyramid. The pyramid. Now it's the pyramid. No, but before, long time ago, the emblem of the bank was... Um, ah, a solar disk. A solar disk, right? With, huh? with, the, with the jaguar. The, yeah, represented the jaguar. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. That old I am. Yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's been Man. a long time. Yeah, a long time ago. Okay, top businesses make their employees take constant trainings on marketing what what do you think guys ivan suleima the businesses make their employees take constant trainings on marketing that's true i think sure. how this is important uh to um know about um new marketing strategies because uh, time changes, people changes, and you can't uh, be doing the same uh, type of advertising all the time. Expect the tips of the people change all the time with new technology, mm -hmm. um, new ways to think. Um, I don't know, market change every day. Market changes every day. I'm with you on that one, but training all of the employees, I will think the other way around. Um, a previous job I had, the owner used to train us on the negative things that we should avoid. Negative things that we should avoid. For example, la constancia employees, I think, la constancia employees cannot drink Coke. They cannot drink products from the competitors. Mm -hmm. My brother, my brother works for La Constancia, and in his house, you, you cannot, can. you cannot house. drink a Coke in that house. Oh, yeah. No, I, hey. I'm not going to work there. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I go like. No, what? what I was thinking, uh, uh -huh. not just uh, the business make their employees stay constant trainings, but they also teacher employees to to feel identified with the brand they work for mm -hmm. so that they will be able to do what your family your family does mm -hmm. not to drink coke because his brand is superior to any feeling right totally uh, he wouldn't feel identified with his brand indeed. he wouldn't care he would drink coke right believe me mm -hmm. but then he will be in trouble if someone finds out <sighs> You know, that's that's the way of thinking. I don't know. It's just a culture, how you engaged with your product. It's a culture, definitely. And, and, and it's awesome. It's awesome to achieve that. It's like working for Apple and having, a, um, I don't know, a Windows computer. It's like, what? Doesn't make sense. Totally. Okay. But, uh huh. Uh, the Constancia is don't drink distributes uh, Coca Cola. I was thinking about it. Yeah, what is it? Who distributes Pepsi and Tampico and yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's um, La, La, Cascada. La Cascada. La Cascada. No, wait. Agua Cristal. Constancia. Oh yeah. It's La Constancia. Yeah, he works for La Constancia. He has been working there for many years. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. There's a second part of this exercise. So I'm gonna split you just for 
a few minutes so you can decode decode the words in parentheses unscramble the words brand what Identity. 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 <laughs> Good. Brand identity. The way people recognize the brand, it may be through the logo or other associated visuals. Watch out for words. Associated visuals. Visuals. Okay. Practice with your classmates. Answer. This is page 29th. Page 29th. Make sure you answer and collaborate. 28. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, if you see me doubting, doubting, help me. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I'll send you the screenshot too. Okay, let's do it. Yes, I will share this the picture. Yes, one moment, please. Yes, I appreciate that. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys, it's ready. Did you see? Do you see? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. The first one we mentioned that is identity yes okay and the second one image 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 the idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand image yes <laughs> very good Ivan. personality i think in the third mm, let me verify Is this the emotional personal qualities the customer associated with with a particular brand? Experience. Yes. Okay. What about the other ones? Just one is mentioned. A combination of everything the customer goes through while purchasing and using that brand. Deep Give me a moment, please. Okay. Different. No. Different. In the number four? What? In the number four? Mm -hmm. Experience. Experience, yes. Okay, the last one is the no, pero, uh, differentiation, uh -huh, differentiation, maybe yes, something yes, like yes. that. Yes, the uh -huh. let me also write differentiation, teacher, differentiation. Ah, oh, okay, we were right. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Okay. You're done. Uh, yes. I, <laughs> image. Okay. okay. Now try to repeat and pronounce each sentence the best you can. If you can, you can share the audio, the audio, just the audio, and look for, I don't know, Google Translate. Try to 
copy and paste the sentence on Google Translate, listen to the pronunciation and try to get it. Try okay, to get it. Thank okay. you. Or find a difficult word. Only the okay. last one. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe we can practice the pronunciation. Yes, try to find uh -huh. difficult words to pronounce. Okay. Uh, I think we can read one sentence. Um, I can start with number one. Okay. Sure, is crowd. The last one. And the last word, actually. Okay, this is how a brand stands out in the crowd. That's okay. Crowd. okay. In the crowd. Okay. Brand identity, the way people recognize the brand, it may be through the logo or other associate visual. What is the right pronunciation, pronunciation of asso associate? Associate. Associated. Okay. Associated visuals. Is it in past? Associated. Associated. Mm -hmm. Associated. Associated visuals. Associated visual. Associated visual. Okay. Number two. Who wants to continue? Each of the last word is very difficult. Yes, differentiation. Yeah, yes. yeah you got it. <laughs> yeah. He just said it. It's differentiation. Yes. Okay, first is identify. Number two is image. Image or image? Image. Image. Number three is personality or experience and differentiation. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, what happened with my camera? Uh huh. But the Okay, I think we're all back. Let's keep going. I need to do the attendance. Here it is. Okay. Are we all back? I think so. Yes. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Josué Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. There's Johnny, but I don't know. He's sleeping, maybe. Josue Alberto Present Salas teacher. Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you, Johnny. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Y sale Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Van is here. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Good. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Okay. Good. So let's move on. What's up with the answers on this exercise? Okay. Read number one. Somebody read number one. People are pronouncing. Me teacher. Wait. Then when I have Johnny with number two. Thank you. Okay. okay. The way people recognize the brand, it may be true. The logo of their associative, associative visual. Okay, repeat. Brand identity. Brand identity. The way people recognize the brand. Why the people uh, oh, one more time. The way people recognize the brand. The way people recognize the brand. It may be through the logo. It may be through the logo. Or other associated visuals. Or other associated visuals. There. Associated visuals. Okay, Johnny number two, Andres number three. Um, brand, um, and Jima, how you said? <laughs> Someone tell, told you the answer there. Brand image. Image, okay, brand image. The idea of the brand, the people develop in their minds, and what they expect from the brand. Good. The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand. Brand image. Man, that's so deep. Hmm. Hmm. We talked about this before. Yeah, if I tell you chicken, what's your first image? Okay, a yellow, a yellow chicken with a hat. <laughs> first thing, right? Okay, next number three, Andres. Okay, number three, personality. Is the emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand? Hmm. Person, personality, brand personality. It is the, the emotional, it is the emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand, with a particular brand. Who can explain me this? Emotional or personal qualities in relation to the brand. Hmm. You know what? I'll tell you what. When I go to buy a refaction for my old car from Volkswagen, the first thing that I think about is going to Continental Auto Parts because there is one guy, there's just one vendor one guy who is very nice, he's so nice, he's so old, he's very old, 
in fact, and he's very knowledgeable. Okay, nice, knowledgeable, and responsible. Last time with my starter, he was like, oh, you know what? I do have one of those. I didn't ask. He just saw me walk into the door and say, hey, what's up? He was like, I have one. I have one. And he went back stage. He brought the motor and he was like, if you want, pay for it. If it doesn't fit, you bring it back and I give you back the money. No problem. So I felt, wow, I felt confident, you know, I felt confident with that brand. So I think that's what it refers to, right? Emotional or personal qualities that are associated with a particular brand. Okay. Number four, Haiti. Brand experience, a combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using that brand. Purchasing. Purchasing, uh, stressing, purchasing. Purchasing. A, a combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using that brand. Brand experience. Everything that you feel with any product. I never change head and shoulders. I don't know. I loved it. I have tried many different Head and shoulders, chocolate, um, cold, cold, you know, cocoa, and so many. And I never change it. You know, it's like, I like it. Okay. And five, uh, William. Brand uh, differentiation. And this is how the brand stands out in the crowd. Can you define that? How a brand stands out in the crowd. The first thing that you think. What, what, Alex? The first thing that you think. think. Mm, how, how it is dif differentiated, how it is differentiated from the the crowd, you know, the crowd of products, similar products. Okay, who else? Who can give an example of a brand differentiation? I mean, a, a brand that is different from the others in its own niche of market. Mm. Maybe Dell? Dell? Dell computers. Dell computers? Jeez. Dell led to people that people choose their companies. Oh, they let consumers select the components of the computer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone else? Well, like clothes people. Uh, sorry, like a uh, brand of clothes. For example, if you buy all this there mm. for another brand, you can see the, the difference. Really? Yeah. In my case, yes. Mm, can you tell the difference between a Levi jeans and uh, and a pair of what? <laughs> An Olister? Uh, yeah, can difference. you tell? Can you tell the difference if you see two jeans? From Hollister and and and, and Le Levi, the clothes is, uh, is different because you you feel it. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's what stands out of the brand. If quality stands out, that's a good product, I guess. Okay. Let's move it. Let's go with the second part. This is page. This is not page 26. Yeah, it is page 26 still. Uh, we have the seventh part on page 26, which is building vocabulary. Let's do it together. What could be brand awareness? I'm just gonna read it for you. Let me know if you find any difficult word. The customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. Number two, perceived perceived quality 
Help me. Yeah, Heidi, go ahead. Help me. Uh, customers, con the number two? Yeah. Customers consistently purchase products from their preferred brands, regardless of convenience or, or price. Regardless of convenience or, or price. Okay, Caroline. Brand associations extend. Oh no, sorry, extend to which consumers are familiar with the distinct distinctive qualities or a brand of a brand or a brand of a of a brand of a brand of a brand of a brand. Of a brand. Yeah, extend of a brand. to which uh, Caroline. Stress of syllable. So nice of the fact that stress of syllable. You have good pronunciation. Extend to which consumers, consumers are familiar, consumers. familiar with the distinctive, 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 distinctive. Again, distinctive, distinctive. Better qualities of a brand. Okay, number four, Ivan. All information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that issues not be disclosed. It is closed. All information that is considered, good job, Ivan, in yeah. the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. What do you understand by that? This is a little bit more complex. Umbral, I think it was real. What is the meaning of real and disclosed? Okay, real is the field, is the field, okay? in that circle of products, let's say. In this case, the realm of intellectual property in the, in the field of the intellectual property. Intellectual property could be an idea that I got and it's mine. And I registered my idea. That's intellectual property <laughs> that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. You cannot, you cannot tell anybody. Excellent, see, perfecto. Okay, you cannot disclose this information to nobody, um, Suleyma. You cannot say, hey, you know what? Haiti had an idea. She had an idea. It's amazing. Uh oh, you're in trouble because it's intellectual property. All information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage. Be careful. We're talking about your company secrets, it's your company secrets, okay? A very well-kept secret of every company is their marketing plan of a specific product, you know. You cannot tell to the competitors, you cannot tell it even sometimes to your family members because they can disclose... What? They can open their mouth and someone else will find out. Oh, so that's what they're going to do. Uh oh. And then your company loses the yeah. advantage over the competitors and you're lost. Got it? Don't, yeah. dis don't disclose the information. Okay. And last one, Alexander, property, pro proprietary assets, proprietary assets. Proprietary assets. Uh, the attribute of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed. Is discussed. 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 Very good. When the brand is discussed. Okay. So brand awareness, what is it? Uh, 
Okay, just tell me a number. Where does it go? What is what? I already have brand loyalty. I think that's the easiest. What is brand loyalty? The second one. And a customer shows, uh, shows us, uh, every, uh, a product one and again and again and again. Okay, and out of this list? <laughs> uh, yes, Judy, Judy is right. Okay, number four. Okay, that's number four. Brand loyalty. Customers constant, huh? consistently purchase products from their preferred brands regardless of convenience or price. Uh huh. Perhaps um, brand awareness could be all information that is considered the real, In the realm mm. of intellectual property. Mm. I'm not really sure. Awareness. Awareness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Extent to, to which customers are familiar with the distinct quality of a brand. Hmm. Awareness is how uh, describe a familiar term. Awareness Are you saying number five, like the attributes of a brand? No, right? Yes, this is no, no. Brand awareness. How a brand is recognized. Okay, so we we already have number four. Um, let's continue. Proprietary proprietary assets. Proprietary assets. What are assets? Assets. Yes, all information that is considered the real report. Exactly. Of the intellectual property that offer competitive advantage, advantage, advantage. And that you were right, advantage. Mm -hmm. It should not be disclosed. disclosed. That's proprietary assets. Proprietary assets. Okay. Now let's move on. Brand association. What is extent? Mr. Google, extent. Extent. Extent with T at the end. Yeah. Extent. It's great. Grado. Grado, right? Extent. Extent. El grado al cual. Alcance o alcance. El alcance, huh? Which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. You're familiar with it. You are. Perceive. Oh. You perceive. You are aware. aware. You are knowledgeable about the product. Consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. It's like when you have, when you love a product, and what I told you before, Panadería Los Eduardos, I know how it tastes. I can describe Maria, uh, Maria Elena's to you. I could describe Maria Elena's to you. They are delicious. They're made of milk. I mean, I you just- are, You are almost an employee. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, exactly. You're almost an employee selling their product. That's true. That's brand awareness. You know it's a good product, so you recommend it to everyone. I mean, you go like, man, that's the why did you buy that product? There's another one, you know, that I always use, and it's amazing. It sounds like a commercial when you talk like that. Okay, what are we missing? We have one, four, and five. We're missing brand associations. Come on. The last one. Brand association? Yeah. The attributes no. of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed. Makes sense. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's perceived quality. Right? Or no, you said brand association? Yeah, brand association. Sorry, yeah, uh-huh. So this will be perceived quality. Just because the word quality is in the sentence and ah, the customer's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. True. It is true. Okay. So perceived quality is the first thing that comes to your mind. Um I don't know, I couldn't. Oh, you know what? Yes, I can think about a product. I, I'm selling cell phones, by the way. I have a Samsung S8, Samsung S8 H, the H version, version, you know. It was an amazing phone, but the screen, I, I, it was a gift. Somebody gave it, gave it to me. And um, the screen was broken. It used to fail. But man, the pictures were awesome. The Wi-Fi connectivity was awesome. It was heavy. It was heavy, but the, the quality was amazing. Maybe the screen wasn't that good. It wasn't good. It wasn't Gorilla Glass. And then my wife uh, changed the plan. Every two years, sort of, we change plans. And she got me this thing. It's a Samsung A32. A Samsung A32. But this thing, I have two Wi-Fi's in my house. I have two services. I have Tigo and I have Claro. But every time I come out of the room to the, to the living room, this thing stays connected to Tigo inside the room. And it goes slow because of the walls. And, and I, want it, I want it to jump to the Wi-Fi of the house to go to Claro when I go go out, come back to Tigo. When I come back to the room, it doesn't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, why? Right? It is supposed That's to do it. the problem with Samsung. <laughs> yes. That's no. part of the connection with uh, Huawei because it's automatic. It is meant to be like that. It used to be like that with the S8, with, with the S8. Now, picture qualities. This thing has four cameras. And the S8 was even better. I'm like, what? Why? Right? That's, I don't know. That's funny things. So the point is, the first thing that comes to my mind, quality. Okay. Brand awareness. You are aware that it's a good brand. You're aware that it works. Okay. When I think about iPhones, with all the respect, <laughs> He's not offended because I call him Google. <laughs> he loves Apple. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Fernando. But <laughs> with all the respect, but I had an iPhone. I didn't like it. And it was a recent iPhone. I can't remember the thing, but I, I didn't like it. I don't know. The quality of the pictures. Wow. I mean, amazing. But it was so difficult. I needed to install an app. It was a headache. And so on. So, run awareness. Okay, let's get this going. This is what we just talked about on that little chart. And I need you to work in groups. Think of a national brand. Identify the components of their branding strategy and use the questions below to guide you. These are just questions related to this. Give me one minute. I need to check something really quick on the lesson plan today's 935. Okay. Okay, we're gonna leave that for tomorrow. I'm gonna skip that and move on to the next topic, which is the conversation on page 30, which is on your presentation as well. And tomorrow we're gonna have that activity where you're going to prepare something and sell it to the class, okay? Um, so let's have a quick discussion before we jump into the conversation on page 30 
um, how do you create a new brand for an existing one? How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? Is it effective to try? Second, someone is moving his microphone. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, traten de apagar su micrófono y solo si van a hablar, lo encienden, por favor. Okay. So, how do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Okay, so number one, how do you create a new brand, guys? Someone, in general terms, quick. Uh, sometimes the, the brand is associated with a company or a new product. Uh, maybe you have to, to, to think about the name, the logo, the colors of the brand, the image of the brand, all that that uh, features uh, describe your brand. Totally. And maybe later you you have to to register that brand because the brand. The, you you need to protect your 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 own idea. Your intellectual property, as we said. Yeah. Excellent. True. That's like a process, right? But remember, the name is like very important, right? If you got a good name on the product, you're all set. How do you restore an existing brand? How do you restore an existing brand, Jocelyn? Restore it. It was mm -hmm. dead. I guess we're talking a brand that was dead, right? So yeah. uh, we need to come back with an, uh, with a strategy, good products, good quality, new ideas. Okay, you have 10 seconds. Think about a product that changed its image. It was gone from the market, it changed its image and came back to the market. Let me see. No idea. <laughs> Diana, Diana, think, think. I, I'm sure Diana just did that. They just changed their package on a product that wasn't so popular. Oh God, I can't remember. Do you know what? They did, they did. They changed their packaging uh, not so long ago. And when they changed the packaging, they brought back, they brought back some products. For example, have you ever tried the sweet rice? Sweet rice from Diana? It has colors, right? The one that was the image? Yeah, yeah. For example, I, I stopped seeing that for a long time and then suddenly they changed their packaging and it was back. I saw another product recently and they they changed their image. Oh, um, something. Agua Cristal. Agua Cristal. Changed the image. They yeah, changed their one. image? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The logo maybe. Okay. Um, Lido. Galletas Vita, for example, in the zoologicas, <laughs> zoologicas, they added chocolate. They added a new flavor. They created small packages for Vita, Vita cookies. Mm -hmm. now, now you can find a very small package, you know, and pinguinos as well. They, they came up with this huge dozen pack, it's a dozen pack, a 12 pack a 12 pack small penguins so you can take them uh, to school okay it's been a long time in the market but you got used to right so they changed the image and they renew they restore uh, the existing brand okay is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone I think it's, it's more, it's, how do you say, como que más efectivo. 
It's more effective or less effective? I'm ah, sorry. it's more effective uh, from our your, to product or service to that your niche of market that that the product belongs. Where the product belongs. Yeah. Where, not the product belongs. Where the product belongs. It's, it's more effective to promote the product uh, on its niche of market, on its niche of market. Is that true, Miguel Angel? Guys, turn on your cameras. Why are you with the camera off? Come on. Luis Ernesto, what do you think? About restore the brand? No, is it effective to try and promote no. your product or service to everyone? No. You need to know what is your niche of market and, and make a um, advertising or something like that for that niche because you are you have to focus your your uh, marketing marketing plan for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on your niche of market totally mm -hmm. I, I agree with you and at the same time i disagree because uh, for example, well, it all depends on your product, right? If your product is for everybody to use it, and you don't yeah, have maybe. you don't you don't have a choice, you know, you just have to um, promote it on everybody. So let's see. Next on this chart, on this chapter, we have a conversation. Again, I need you to pay attention to the bold letters, bold letters. I mean, bold sentences. For example, I help people find. I use, I just usually let customers do, can help you to do, okay. So we're gonna talk really quick about the second causative sets, uh, the second set of causative verbs. I'm gonna read this really quick for you. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Mm. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising, all the advertising. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Questions? Simple words. I don't see any difficult words here. Do you? No, okay, no, no difficult words. Good, good, good. Okay, we're missing just 15 minutes. Let's speed things up. I'm gonna speed up. Yeah. Uh, Andre Giovanni wrote in the chat. Uh, barely, more, I think. barely, apenas, barely. Teacher, I can barely hear you. Barely get any customer. Okay, apenas. Very good. Aduras penas. Okay, let's get splitted just for five minutes. Please practice with your classmates one, two times, and we come back. Okay. Okay. Let's go. No. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. What is the page? Page thirty. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm.
escape. We can use a number, right? Number one. Um, okay, me. But we need, we can use one, two, three, and four and do the practice and repeat. In the sequence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 And number one, I went to the business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of the legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably you need to define the brand of the service and providing to improve the business. So number three, Yuri or Wendy? I am number three. Okay. How do you do what? Sorry, sorry. How do you, how do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me, for me with business card. Okay. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brands you want. Pensé que iban a ser parejos, que íbamos a rotar, pero creo que no funciona de poner números. No. Mm -hmm. If es que you prefer, que... uh, we can create two couples. Mateo. Okay, Juan Francisco, do you want to be Angela? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, okay. I am Angela. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, by, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the plan of the service. You are, you are from providing, providing, providing to improve, providing uh, the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. The clients can uh, help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Now me, who wants to be my? Thank I you. Will. Angela, okay. Do some promotion for me with business cards. Your client can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay. Uh, Yosemi, can okay. you practice I again? Mateo, no? Yes. Okay. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service while providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me with business cards. 
your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, thank you. And we can switch to one. And dance. Oh, we can dance. We can dance if you want. We can dance. Oh, we can dance. How do I do that? 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 Okay. I'm just waiting for the others. Remember, try to join the sounds. The sound of silence. How do I do that? 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 Okay. So tonight we were supposed to speak about this, but I'll just give you the grammar. If you remember yesterday, the first part of causative verbs, what were causative verbs for? What is the intention of using causative verbs? Who remembers? When do we use causative verbs? Exactly, when somebody forces you or you force someone to do something. And we started get and make, right? By the way, I'm staying with the doc tonight. Ada Susana, we're staying tonight for 10 minutes, if you don't mind. Okay, really quick. So we continue with the same idea. Help someone, the base form of a verb in infinitive. Let's see, let's see. The training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. Hmm? Um, Let's say, let's say, the teacher helps many students practice their English. <laughs> so again, you need a subject. What is the subject on the first sentence? The training. Training. The training. The training. training. Okay, and then we need help. And what is someone? Small, Small business, business owners. That is that someone, very good. Now, what do we have? We have the base form of a verb or an infinitive. What do we have? Replicate. Base form. That's the base form, yes. And then the complement, of course. Okay, next, next example. What's the uh, subject? Uh, marketing, marketing, marketing expert. A marketing expert. Repeat. A marketing expert. A marketing expert. Marketing expert. Okay. Could is just an auxiliary. Okay. Then you need help. Okay. What is the someone in this sentence? You. You, right? You. Me? Not me. You. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To understand, is it a base form or an infinitive? Infinitive. That's right. This is an infinitive to understand the basic principles of Brandon. Okay. So with help, you can use the base form or the infinitive. I have a question for you. Are we forcing someone to do something? No. No. So what are we saying in this case? Let's. ¿Qué estamos diciendo en este caso? ¿Para qué lo vamos a ocupar? Let's. To assist. When you want someone to assist someone else, when 
you want to permit. Uh -huh, to allow, permitir, very good. To permit, to allow something or someone to do something for you. And next example is very similar. You need a subject, okay? Plus let someone and the base form of a verb. So be careful. Here you can use the base form of a verb or the infinitive. Here you must use the base form of a verb. Some companies subject, you need let, okay? Client, someone, okay? Client, someone. Base form of the verb. Although this is a phrasal verb, go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. Okay, can you break this down? What is the subject? What's the subject? <laughs> Be careful with the third persons. Some companies, plural, let. An effective brand, it lets. Third person. People, someone, explore, base form of the verb, the benefits of their products. It's so easy. We're going to do a lot of examples tomorrow of both cases, both scenarios. Okay. Okay. Teacher, in the case of help, it's up to you if you use infinitive or the base form of the verb. Correcto. Lo que les sugiero es escucharse siempre, chicos. Acuérdense. ¿Qué suena mejor? Y les repito, a, a todos creo ya a este punto les he dicho lo mismo. Escúchense ustedes mismos. Cuando hablen inglés, escúchense ustedes mismos. Si ustedes logran alcanzar a autocorregirse, wow, ya estamos hechos. Ok. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday. Please don't miss your classes. Thank you for being here tonight again. Sincero. Hey. Y en la primera oración está correcto. En Training help. helps. Sí, el entrenamiento uh -huh. ayuda. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. It helps. Y no tiene que llevar el to, to replicate. No. Es opcional, William. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Por eso decía, y es un lema. Base form of a verb or infinitive. It's up to you. ¿Qué suena mejor? Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't. Si lo puedes hacer, se puede. Okay. Oh, quiero que let's do the attendance, guys. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Q Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Ferden, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Okay, good night, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Get better soon. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, Good night. Good night, Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present, Good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Werder Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Alvarez. Present. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present, good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Oh, okie dokie, okie dokie. Doc, doc, how are you? Good.
me pidió que me quedara, ¿verdad? Yo alcancé a oír, pero... <risa> Sorry. Todavía lo está pensando, sí. Ahí les enviaron el listado al grupo, al chat. Ahora. Sí, sí, hoy le toca otra no vez. Revisa, no, no he revisado el chat. Como usted es la <risa> número uno. Siempre igual todo, Alexander, eso. Andrés, quiero ver, llegamos a repetir hasta Irwin. Yes. Bueno, teacher. Ok. Sí. Did you hear? José Antonio has COVID. Oh, de veras. Pobrecito. He just, uh, he just said it. Man. Es que ahorita ya es común eso. Realmente están dando casi a toda la gente. Y más los que se vacunaron ya la tercera dosis. Mm. Sí. O sea, ya se la puso. No. I just y have, está dando I mucha... Ajá, está dando mucha complicación la de Pfizer y la moderna. A mí me dio una otitis What? la Pfizer. Yes. Una otitis. Me dio una otitis con una rinofaringitis. Pero eso de, unos días después de haberse la puesto. 15 días. 15 días es después que, de haberse la puesto. Es la reacción normal de una vacuna, ¿verdad? Mm. De dar su efecto probablemente 14 días después, aunque hay gente que ya la semana está malita. Bueno, pues yo soy inmortal, la verdad. Pero ya su malestar anterior ya pasó. Al final sí, no, y de hecho, de hecho eso, esto fue una infección que trajo uno de los niños a la casa. Es que los niños llevan los virus puros. Los niños son más fuertes su virus. Sí, Entonces... la, la niña se puso bien mal, lo sobrepasó, de ahí el niño mayor se enfermó y me lo pasó a mí. ¿Y están pequeños? Um, sí, seis, nueve y doce. ¿Tres tiene? Oh. Ah, y dos años y medio, más o menos. ¿El perro? Cuatro. Ah, sí, ese es un hijo más. Ah. Mira sí. lo que el sábado se me salió de la casa. Y, el ajá, y lo fue a traer fumó, se fue a dar la vuelta al parque no venía de regreso iba a hablar que se regresara ya cuando venía para de regreso para la casa se sale un no es un pitbull es un un dogo oh. un dogo blanco chulo se salió del portón y se agarró no Ay, pobrecito. impresionante fue el tata sale el tata con todo a pegarle a él vea soltalo le decía. entonces eso me afectó la gritadera doc estar hablando mucho es que la, porque me puse a gritarle y a gritarle soltalo le decía soltalo o sea yo como que si un hijo me estaban Pinqueando. golpeando vea pero no le gritaba al, al dogo sino que a mi perro regañándole que por qué se había salido si no o sea, ya sabe que no se tiene que salir pues y, ¡ay! Sí, sí, me puse. Si lo he escuchado escuchado un poco eh, sí, sí, me puse bien afónico, pero, y más que estar trabajando en, en el call center, eso. Ok, back to business. <ríe> Ajá, no se me vaya por la tangente, no la voy a regañar. Quiero saber, no. ¿qué has estado haciendo? ¿Qué hemos estado haciendo? Mm, fíjese que realmente eh, ahorita estoy un poquito así complicada porque tengo dos semanas de estar, eh, primero en un entrenamiento con productos nuevos con la empresa que yo trabajo para dar servicios profesionales a mí eh, se actualiza cada tres meses entonces tenemos un montón de productos nuevos y tengo casi dos semanas de estar ahorita estoy en un congreso con la gente de Colombia en línea y eh, he tratado de que se, se, se escuche una parte en inglés aunque los colombianos no lo hablan muy bien, son algo malcriaditos para hablar, ¿verdad? Sí por naturaleza, pero estamos tratando de que, por lo menos al escucharlo, yo lo que hago, eh, y se lo iba a compartir, pero vi que no, no hubo mayor oportunidad, eh, en el, el tiempo que yo trato de, de, de tomar para mí mi, mi práctica. Inglés, práctica en inglés, casi siempre es una hora, tipo mediodía cuando me queda más chance, y trato de resolver, ir al día con el manual, ¿verdad? Ir leyendo, por lo menos para interpretar lo que se va, o de llevarle una continuidad, ¿verdad? Y en la noche lo que estoy haciendo también es escuchar música. 
había muchas canciones que uno solo la escuchaba, ah, suena así o suena bonita, ¿verdad? Pero a veces es bien importante el saber qué está diciendo y realmente la música en inglés tiene mucho significado, ¿verdad? Y a veces son cosas bien bonitas que dicen de uno, ¿verdad? Y, y uno ni sabía qué es lo que cantaba o qué es lo que pronunciaba. Entonces... Incluso una app, Ivonne. Ajá, sí, sí, está, así he estado viendo que hasta uno como memes han querido poner ahí. Es, es bien importante y veo que son bastante interactivos ellos. Son bien... Al fin, al fin. No, en realidad como que so, sí hay gente que, que, que está muy preparada. Si sí, yo conozco varios ahí que han estado muchos años estudiando inglés y, y tienen mucha base. Y es ahí donde uno se siente un poquito así como que ay, me voy a equivocar o voy a decir las cosas mal. ¿Verdad? Hay gente que le ayuda. Y eso se lo digo cuando lo compartimos en grupo. Y a veces uno se siente incómodo porque hay gente como que se molesta. Ay, tocarme con esa que no puede hablar bien. Sí. Y uno lo percibe así. ¿Verdad? No es que la gente lo diga, sino que la Pero actitud... son prejuicios, Doc. Eso ya son prejuicios de cada uno. Sí, sí. Yo entiendo eso, ¿Verdad? Entonces, uno trata de ser lo más... Eh, de tratar de hacer la, la, las cosas lo mejor que puede, ¿Verdad? Para no sentirse y que ellos también lo, lo, como que le ayuden más a uno. Pues, porque sí he encontrado gente en el grupo que me ayuda. Mira, eh, o mire, este, se dice así. Y eso es bien importante porque uno vuelve a repetir la misma burrada o la misma, la misma pronunciación más. ¿verdad? Y eso es bien importante. Y a veces eso eh, permite el hecho de que haya exista gente en los grupos con más eh, fluidez para hablarlo. Porque ellos mismos dicen, no es que nosotros seamos mejores. Si estamos al mismo nivel que ustedes, todos estamos igual. Solo que nosotros sí lo hablamos, pero lo hablamos mal. Lo hablamos mal, no tenemos gramática, vea. ¿Y quién dice eso? <risa> todos. ¿Quién? Ay. No. ¿Quién? Si alguien le ha dicho eso, dígame. Pero no, en realidad uno eh, se crea ese, ese tabú en la cabeza. No es un tabú. El juzgarse. Sí. Fíjese que uno se juzga a uno mismo mal siempre el problema del ser humano es juzgarse a uno mismo de una manera negativa no, y si empiezo a decir cosas positivas de mí mismo todo el día, yo le digo, eso funciona Sí, yo sé No, yo le explicaba el otro día a Alexander estaba, estaba Fernando, ¿verdad? Eh, porque estábamos hablando eh, ¿Por qué el hecho de seguir estudiando inglés? Le decía yo, tal vez yo no lo haga por, por buscar una eh, un ascenso. No, yo siento que estoy bien, así. Pero a, para mí es muy importante, a veces uno tiene pacientes que hablan mucho inglés y uno se queda, oh, chica, ¿y qué me está diciendo? ¿Verdad? Entonces... No crea, oh, acá y, ah, se le pueden abrir oportunidades, usted no sabe. No, usted pues, con sí, el conocimiento sea, que usted tiene de doctora, ya hay todo, cirugías y todo. Fíjese que me han estado llamando mucho de la Embajada de Canadá. Y me acuerdo haber aplicado hace muchos años y me hicieron un quiz en inglés y todo, y han seguido llamando, pero el detalle es que la oportunidad es solo para mí, y yo no puedo dejar a mis hijas y a mis padres, pues. ¿Seguro? Entonces, ¿Solo para ustedes? Solo para mí, por el momento sí. Mm -hmm. Entonces vieron todo lo, toda la base de datos, y es de llamar, si sí, hice unas llamadas hasta tres, cuatro veces por semana, y, y el full, full inglés, pues, porque la... la <ríe> La, la chica que habla es full inglés, ¿verdad? Pero están viendo realmente porque a veces eh, son oportunidades que solo vez, llegan una vez en la vida ¿verdad? y uno a veces las desaprovecha. Pero sí, estuvimos hablando bastante con, con estos chicos que voy a ellos, lo hablan fluidamente, que uno se queda a veces, voy a ver, quiero ser como eres cuando sea grande. Y le digo yo, para mí es importante porque a veces hasta mi hija menor necesita una ayuda en inglés y a veces me da pena que ella me diga, mamá, eso está mal escrito o está diciéndolo mal. Entonces eso como que a uno... Pero le pasa la de Yuri y Yuri, eh, él le ha enseñado a hablar a las, a las hijas. Y uh -huh. él, o sea, él solo se ha metido a estudiar, dice, y, y un día de estos, el día que me tocó con él, pues me dijo de eso, de que él, las dos hijas hablan inglés, prefieren hablar inglés que en español. Porque desde pequeñas él se rebuscaba por palabras y solo se las mencionaba hasta que se le quedaban a las niñas. Entonces ya cuando se traban van a buscar una nueva palabra. O sea, 
a ese punto está él. Lo mismo le recomiendo, intente, intente, no se dé por vencido, Doc, si de verdad quiere aprenderlo, ¿ok? Y de nuevo, uh -huh. cualquier cosa, escríbame. Si un día bueno, necesito está. traducir algún documento o algo, dígame. Yo con gusto no, le ayudo. Yo voy a ver todos los libros, en francés también. <ríe> no sé francés. Me gusta el pan francés, el problema que tengo ahorita. <ríe> ok. Good night. Sí, Cuídense, sí, Doc. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye.